welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet and today we have the Rittenhouse rye on our cask 100 proof so what is it a hundred a rye hmm? first of all nice rye whiskey didn't have any rye whiskey for quite some time now and it's a uh, 100 proof means 50% ABV. So that's the, the thing here. It's a 50% whiskey, kind of a bit more kick to it. Rittenhouse and the name, okay. And then we have a straight rye whiskey. So it's only from one distillery and there are some other things to it as well. But um, also bottled in bond. What is a bottled in bond whiskey? Bottled in bond is under US government supervision. So you have to have some regulation of the warehouse uh, to be have to bottled in bond also it has to be uh, matured or stored in the warehouse for at least five years and uh, Rittenhouse rye is uh, kind of the and uh, comes from the the old Pennsylvania rye so here it says uh, Rittenhouse straight rye whiskey is storied storied Pennsylvania style rye whose heritage commemorates phil, uh, commemorates Philadelphia's famous Rittenhouse Square. I'm not, I'm not quite sure if I've Philadelphia. Mm. Bottle the bond, da, 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 da. spicy profile. Yeah, that's what you get from from a from a rye whiskey. And yeah, rye whiskey. Why does it always uh, if you have rye? Why is it always with uh, Pennsylvania and that's because rye was yeah was really really strong in Pennsylvania and really really strong within the yeah the first years of the new um, United States of America because uh, in Pennsylvania there were huge farming communities or farms in there and they were growing mainly rye and they were all then thinking about oh what we do with this axis uh, of rye and the answer was hey there are a few Scottish people there they know how to distill whiskey let's let's distill whiskey or even German people or all of them from the old continent who knew how to distill they suddenly started distilling rye whiskey and that's then the old style of whiskey is pretty rough and pretty strong and yeah mm -hmm. oh yeah let me show you the bottle for, for a second because it looks kind of cool i like it like this this diamond shaped uh diamond shaped or uh, square rotated shape i like it Mm -hmm. not, so. not a not a hefty rye up to now no, but you do realize it's a rye it has the for me it's always a little bit of a like a a forest character in there spiciness mm. this one is a bit more fresh but not in a pine sense of way it feels a little bit like ginger it's yeah it does have some sweetness as well so a rye whiskey has to be made from 51 percent rye so the rest can be hmm, sweet corn or wheat or barley mm -hmm. so the the smell is quite intriguing but not very very intense yet it's well it's a nice whiskey to smell at but it doesn't uh, yeah rock your world Mm. <laughs> mm. Speaking about rocking your world, mm. 50% Pennsylvania style, style rye. That's a recipe for an intense spiciness. How can you hide that spiciness in the smell? The smell does really not say anything about the flavor. The flavor is oily, spicy, dark flavored, strong, intense, and it's just mm, a lot of spiciness. It has even oakiness in it as well. So everything you expect from a, a good, intense, rough and tumble whiskey. I like it. Mm. So price-wise, the um, Rittenhouse Rye is, uh, yeah, I would say, at the end of the normal range, but 
um, at the beginning of the premium range. So it's not quite a heavy, expensive whiskey. In Germany, it sells around 32 uh, euros, and in the States will be probably then 35 or something like that, or 33. And yeah, it's it's a rough and tumble whiskey, and I like it. It's uh, definitely what you expect of the the founding fathers of the United States, what they um, what they drunk <laughs> when they took their wagon and headed east. Mm. <laughs> That's what you want to have if you have a rough winter and you have a, a rough whiskey in your glass that just <laughs> gets you back to life. Oh, that is spiciness. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. Mm. And it just comes through with the 50% ABV, the 100 proof, just gives just enough volume to just transport all that flavor into your mouth. That's just, mm, I don't think I will try any more whiskey today because it would just taste like Rittenhouse rye from, from now on until the evening. Mm. And it's, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that was my take on the Rittenhouse rye. Very, very subtle in the smell. Very, very intense in the flavor. It's, it's just uh, a nice way of showing that yeah, whiskeys can be roller coasters and they can hide their flavors within the smell. That was my take on the Rittenhouse Rye 100 Proof. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.